Hello, kit heads. We are talking kit, the home of the greatest foot pocket content for the community, by the community. That's what we live by. That is our motto, our mantra. Yeah. Tom's got it tattooed on the small of his back. This is what we're all about <laughs> here at Talking Kit. Obviously, it is Wednesday, which means we're back in the rank bank. We pulled 10 shirts out. Contentiously 10 shirts this week, by the way. Um, but we've pulled 10 shirts out nonetheless. I'll get into that in a minute, Tom, don't worry. Yeah. 10 shirts, we've got an amazing guest that's going to help us rank these 10 shirts, as we always do here on the Fabulous Talking Kit. And it is that means it is Full Kit Rankers. That's the show that provides all the ranking needs possible. Is that a, is that a thing? I don't know. But anyway, I'm double A, as always. Sean's reaching up and getting something. That is GK Sean. Sean, hello. Oh, yeah, there sorry. There you go. I I respond in actions like a mime artist today. Uh, yeah, I'm all good. How is everybody? We're we're, we're fine, mate. I'm loving the uh, Gloss Up Tropics content at the moment that you're providing on uh, Instagram. If ever, anyone doesn't know and wants to follow Sean's five sides, five aside, six aside. I'm not doing it. Is it not you? No. It, oh, it, it, comes it? Across, it comes across as you that's doing it. You're not the admin. The, maybe not called, no. Maybe, I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. It's a All secret. Right. All right. It's a ghost anyway, writer. Anyway, there's a, there's a, a Twitter secret account. footballer. Yeah, there's a Twitter account for, are you the rap, Are you the footballer that's made the rap song as well, by the way? <laughs> have you seen that? Oh, I've not seen that. Yeah, well, have a lot later. There's a there's a drill song out, and it, it, apparently it's a Premier League footballer. Anyway, Sean's five aside, six aside team, the Gloss Up Tropics, um, have got an Instagram account. Is it just Gloss Up Tropics? He don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. No, okay, he don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. The Gloss Up Tropics, yeah. Fuck's sake. Basically, just go and follow him. It, you know, uh, the content is pretty good. Um feel like I've over the pudding now. It's, it's all right. It's not great. I mean, it's not worth all this talk. But you won the other day, I believe. Opening opening game of the season, yeah. 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one. I mean. Top of the league. Well, yeah, after one game, you will be. Yeah. Um, I guess. Anyway, I'm glad you're well. And you're wearing, I'm going to say, mother well today. Correct, circa 2009, 2010. Nice, Canterbury as well. That was uh, their golden golden era, wasn't it, in in, uh, in football, that period. Them and so. Pompey. Yeah, a bit rugby-ish this, but St. Johnston in the back as well. Goalkeeper top, is it uh, St. Johnston? <laughs> nice. nice. No, I'm glad you've, uh, you've, you've come prepared for the episode which you've not told people what it is yet. So, well, we'll see. Dom, let's... La Liga, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, Dom. You all right, mate? How you, how you doing? How you diddling? I'm all good, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad, again, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, uh, elaborate. Anything you want to get, care to share with the team? Um, About being good or just in general? <laughs> general? Just, I guess just in general. Like anything. Tell um, us anything. So loads of good content from KitCon Air or Ira yeah. or Eerie. Ever. Um, uh, everything Irie, like I don't know everywhere. Everything everyone calls, it, Irie? Yes. Everyone calls <laughs> it something different, but so loads of good content there, specifically from uh, one of our favorites as well, Chris Matic, not Matic, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's just catching up on a load of that stuff. Um, but yeah, good, and uh, obviously seeing uh, someone even closer to home, um, now becoming a regular fixture on the United stand and loving that, um. Dubala, the battery, they call him on the, in the end. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Dubala, did you get that name because you go forever? Or should be should be triple A. You know, as big as a double A. Hannah will, Hannah will tell you otherwise for that. But it's obviously with my name. If you know my real name, it's what I say most to tell people what my name is and how to spell it. Yeah, I probably said that. More in my life than my name, so it made sense. To, I'll just go by that. You know, it's a little bit of a. I mean, well, you give, you're giving yourself a nickname. <laughs> you meant to get your well, friends to do that. <laughs> no, but it's not a nickname, is it? It's 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 a 
a persona. It's, it's an alias. That's what it is. Everyone gives himself an, an alias. Name. What's your name, son? <laughs> uh, double <laughs> F. If I had double A. D- double double A Tondra. That's what that's my full name. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. I mean, I, I'm I'm, not, I'm sure people didn't give fifty cent, isn't it? I don't know why I went fifty cent there. Um, he was the first one I thought of. Eminem. He he made that himself. People do that. Don't get on to me because you like GK Shaw. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not as, you know. Wait, is Eminem's M and M because of the Marshall and Mathers? Marshall and Mathers. Oh, shut up. You knew that. There's you no way that. you didn't know that. <laughs> Don't pull that one with me. Um, but yeah, I just thought, it, and there's a lot of, everyone, there's a lot of Aaron's in there. Let's be honest. There's a lot of Aaron's. Hey, Aaron's. Yeah, there's too many. So I have to stand out a little bit. I have something about myself. So I went for double A because everyone says, how do you spell your name? Double A. R-O-M. So there we go. That's that's the reason behind it. I wanted to keep it a secret and you've dragged it out of me. So thank you very much. Okay. I'm, I'm Sorry. Not I'm not bothered. It, it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so Is yeah. It a bra size? Is it a bra size double A? Or do they not go that low? I mean, they do. People they could be confused. All, all shapes and sizes. So the... And what's bigger? A or B or C or F? What's... Does it go... A is big uh, or A is small. I think the fuller you know, the cup, the, the lesser the letter. You know, you know, this is about, you know, this is about football shirts, yeah? This is what we're here for. Not, not no, women's foot, women's football shirts. That the year, I need to take that into account. Or men. Yeah, yeah. Or they them. Feel free. Uh, anyway, yeah. So you're all right, Dom. Is that is that oh. what you're saying? Yeah. Everything, we went around everything. the answers a little bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. smart. Yeah. You pressed me. I said yeah, and then you pressed me, and we went off topic. But what a surprise! Pressed press you or pressed you? <laughs> <laughs> we know. We'll move on. We'll we'll quickly move on. Um, we're back. We are back. If you haven't gathered from that, we're, we're brilliant, and you should get involved a little bit more. Probably like the video. I mean that that sort of first ten minutes. Worth anyone's like. Subscribe to the channel as well. I mean, well, I think time of recording nine away from five hundred, so we know it's getting there. We need more. Whatever you're doing, you need to do better. I'm sorry. I don't want to have a go at anyone. Don't turn off the video. Subscribe to the channel. I mean, you. This is all you need to be honest with you. Subscribe to the channel. We're the best. Become a kit head and get involved in the channel. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't want to get on a soapbox out. So I won't. Hit about the notification as well for when we drop comment uh, content. That's always nice. Uh, always good for you as well. You know, if you're on the go, you're on the bus, you're on the train. You think, ding! Oh, what's that? It's talking kit. Talking kit. Release the video. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I mean, it's like... Are you getting yeah. off the bus? <laughs> it could be. Oh, yeah, maybe I was. Um, YouTube know what they're doing. So they're letting you know when we've dropped something. It works. It just works. So... Yeah, book up your ideas. Probably subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Right, okay, let's get into this week's show. I think that's fair. Uh, we, we spoke enough about us. Let's move on and get into this week's show, this week's 10, and this week's guest as well. As always, we picked someone amazing from the kit community. Friend of the show. He's been on the channel before. I, I love his content. I love his TikToks. I love his his tweets. I love I love I love him in his ways of his collecting. He's very passionate, as as you can see. I love his doormat when he has it on his TikToks. His doormat's lovely. I think, right, I'm gonna say I love it because I know it's a football team and I forgot the football team. Juventus, is it? Oh, can, can you just shake your head if I've got that right or not? It's not Juventus, is it? I've, I've screwed that up massively. It, he'll tell he'll tell us anyway when he comes on. Uh, what, what it is, I'm sure he'd be happy to now. Uh, he, he hates you, you hate you, event. No, he doesn't. No, I don't know. Um, he doesn't because he bought you, shirt. Maybe I'm getting confused with the event shirt you bought. That weird third one, that's what it was. I got confused. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll get the guest on. He's come here to help us rank. It is Paul Fit, but I always put it. Shit bag. Uh, hi, Paul. You're all right, mate. I'm very well. That was a, a random, a random opening, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the house is there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah. I, I knew, I, I knew it was going to be one of them shows today, mate. I could tell mm-hmm. straight away. Um, but welcome to the madhouse or the rank bank, whichever you prefer to be. How are we doing, mate? Are we okay? It's been a little Hi. while since, since you've been on. 
Yeah, I very well. Appreciate you having me back on and no looking forward to it. It's a PSG doormat. Um, that so, was it. That was it. But I knew it was. I remember seeing it on the video when you had you bought that UV third shirt, and I think that's where I've got all modelled up. Right? Yeah, so forgive me. Forgive me for that. Well, everything's going well, collecting wise. If, yeah, I after the the back of that Scotland shirt and managing to get a hold of one, um, and then. Yeah find the box done as well and then that's not coming so but it's here and we've got it so that's kind of been dominating for the last six weeks or so but uh, all good all good I, I'm, I'm so happy you got one mate because your tweets have been relentless if you hadn't managed to get one i think there would have been the hell yeah. hell to, hell to yes <laughs> you don't like it do you it's, you uh, hate it. it's all right yeah. isn't it? um, i i love it Paul, oh, I love, I, i'm with you my my Celtic brother, this lad can't you, stand it. You just tried calling me. You, you hates it. No, no, I didn't say I hated it. Paul, li don't listen to him. He's caught. Look at him. He's he's causing trouble. Yeah. <laughs> what I said. What I said was, it's okay. It, it's I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know why. But you know, <sighs> you, I love it. Yeah, so, you are, yeah. Look at you. Now. But you know what I do love. Scottish Premiership shirts. That's what I do love, Paul. And that's why you're here. Because we have 10 from this season. And that's why I say it's contentious because two teams have missed out, Dom. Yeah. Uh, yes. Because obviously we only do 10. And sadly, two haven't made the cut. Which two uh, Which two was it? Uh, Kilmarnock, Kilmarnock and Livingston, I believe. That's it. Kilmarnock and Livingston are the two that have missed out. So, shouts out to them. It's nothing to do with your kits. Just sadly, two... Two have missed the cut. Maybe we'll just do an episode with five of each of your shirts and yeah. we'll make up that way, maybe, um, one day. A bit on a Scotland shirt as well. We'll put that in there just because just I want everyone to love me. Um, that's fine. <laughs> but no, so yeah, we're doing 10 of the shirts from 10 of the Scottish Premiership teams this season. Some home, some away, and some third. I let our lovely guest, Paul, Pick the shirts. So, you don't like them? You can just blame him. It's nothing to do with me. Um, but no, I think I think they're a solid ten. I think I think you've yeah. done well, Paul. Um, uh, the good thing is, and maybe I, I should I should be a bit upset about this. No one's complained, so I normally get a bit of a complaint. Oh, it's a race to the bottom for this one, isn't it? Oh, these are our... none of that for you. So I, I'm assuming people were happy with them. So that's something to to take for the bank, mate. We'll, 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 go, we'll go around the room. How did everyone find ranking the shirts this week, Sean? How, how did you find it? It was a good, it was a good lot this week, wasn't it? Yeah. Hard. The first six were hard. Bottom few were easy. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, Dom, yourself? Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't mind when there's a good variety, and there are some that obviously lean a little more towards the end. I hate it when there's just loads of shit ones. Or just loads of all good ones as well. Yeah. This there was a mix, so you you did actually have to think. Normally, when I send them you, I've not even looked to just ping it off back to you. <laughs> Where I'm joking. Whereas now, because I've looked and I've looked again, I already know which ones I'm flip flopping on. So it is a good list because it's it's thought provoking. Yeah, no, I I agree with that. So if you don't know, if, if this is like say if it is your first time talking kit, full kit rankers, the four of us here. And Jay from Retro Football Kits. We send out 10 shirts. Everyone ranks them 1 to 10 individually. Everyone sends their scores back to me uh, separately. I then rank everyone's scores and we get our definitive list. Uh, possible score out of 50. And that's how that's how it pretty much goes. So, yeah, we've got 10 shirts, like I say, uh, that we're, we're going to go through. And, yeah, I think it's, it's a quite a, a tight list this week. I think, you know, it's... Uh, it's a, it's a good one, I think, and people have been very varied with their scores. Before we do get into the, the 10 shirts, as always, we have a little bit of admin. The sale is still going on at Retro. I I, I mean, they must be just out. There's too many shirts, man. They must have too many shirts, and they're practically giving them away. So head over to their website. At the time of recording, this is Monday. So by Wednesday, if it's gone off, it's not my fault. It, today, today it's on. So if you're watching today, which only us four are, go and buy a shirt. If you're not, if you're watching Wednesday and it's off, you missed out. It's your own fault. It's nothing to do with me. We well, yeah, retro football kits, 20% sale off site wide. Sale, sale, sale. Um, oh, but if the sale is gone off Wednesday, 
Talking kit 10. Go and uh, use that. There we go. At least that's 10%, isn't it? So there we go. Retro football kits. 10%, uh, 20% off sale site-wide. And um, in there today, some absolute gems have been on um, today. Uh, obviously, I've raided the stock room to, to, sh to, you know, to get involved in our brothers from the north. And I think, you know, I did want to say, I think this, this episode's been a long time coming. Uh, me and Paul spoke a little bit on on doing this episode. And I said, when we do do a Scottish Premiership, there's only one person I want to call on. They weren't available, so we got Paul in instead. So, no. <laughs> uh, no, obviously, Paul was always the first person we wanted to do this. And, it's yeah, I'm, I'm really happy he's here. So let's get into this week's list then. Our 10 shirts from the Scottish Premiership. How are they all ranked? Shirt number 10. I'm not happy. Already, I, I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm a bit upset. This is where it is. Uh, shirt number ten with only 15 points, which is not the worst score in the world. Uh, we've had a lot worse. It's no single digits. It's this. It's the Dundee United home shirt. <laughs> wow! What, what are you playing at? How is this? So Jay, who's who's not here. Um, this was this was tenth. Um, and, he, and, and sadly, he's in, he, he was in Belgium, so he's not giving me any reasonings either, which he apologised for. He said it's not good enough. We're going to go over to cult kits now. No, I'm joking. We're not. Um, he just, he, he's been there. That's fine. So, yeah, he, he's at it 10th. I mean, we'll just go off mine. It was fourth on my list. I love it. I think it's retro. It's It's got the Macron. It's got the old school, you know, the font badge. It's it's a cracking shirt. I think maybe the pitch doesn't do justice, and maybe that's what they've gone on. Not looked at the on pitch one, which we'll show in a minute. I think it's fantastic, guys. I don't know how this has come come back to the power. We'll probably go through the rest of the rankers and let them explain themselves and and tell us why. Dom, you're laughing. We'll start with you. You can explain <laughs> and everyone else. Why is this part of your list, Paul? I, get, I told you, there's ones that I'm flip-flopping on. Um, because the thing is, is I didn't do my research before my rankings. I just went just off base instincts. Um, yeah. And that, it's it's the sponsor. It's nothing but the sponsor. Obviously, I'm loving the older badge. Once I found out a bit more about it, that I'll let someone else go into because I don't deserve to because I had it ranked so lowly. And I saw the tape and I was like, oh, what have I done? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just the sponsor. Just the sponsor ruins it. Oh, on initial glance, I didn't even do um, Sean's three glance scenario thing. I just went one, no, tenth. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I did try to find a better picture um, of this. This is this was the one that was on Footy Kit Archive. Even Google wasn't bringing anything up. I don't look super clean, so apologies for that. But the one I got obviously on the play, and I'll show you that now. I mean, that is absolutely. Beautiful. I mean, it's a great kit. The black and the black and orange shorts. Sean, I I thought, this, I thought this would be something you would be going nuts for. But again, you follow Dom and you put it you put it tenth. Why? Yeah, he messaged me about the sponsor. He said, "Don't put it higher than tenth." <laughs> um, again, it was that's cheating. Base, in, base instincts. Uh, the sponsor was the first thing I saw. Even match play, it, it looks very League Two or National League there. Um, well, you should and, love and, that. Look what your team is. What are you on about? Yeah, that's the quality of the football, not kits. Um, the look, the chevrons down the side as well. I, I, I just didn't like it. It was bottom, easy bottom. It's the first one I put. It's the first one I ranked, and it was bottom. Oh, that's shocking. That that that's disappointing to hear. Paul, uh, I think we should come to you because we need some positivity in the yeah. room. I mean, I've done my best. Um, tell, tell, tell these two why they've, they've no knowledge on football shirts and should be on yeah I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say that but uh, I'm surprised I had it I think I had it sixth um yeah, you did yeah I I like it I think it's it's just obviously the sponsor is the thing that's going to put people off yeah. I've got a few pals that are Dundee United fans and have it without the sponsor and I, I immediately it changes the look of the shirt yeah it's obviously they've gone with the retro badge the, the shirts actually to commemorate their league win in 1982, I believe, and that's the badge that they had then. Um, I think there's some print on the back at the neckline as well. I'm going to disagree with Sean. I love the macron down the sleeves. I think it's yeah. it's almost a throwback to like Kappa for the 90s or something. I really like it. I know yeah. that a couple of other macron teams have got that this season, and I like that. I want a bit more of that. It's just that Dundee United kits are just 
they're quite iconic um, for me. They're in that ticks all the boxes. Loads of orange and a wee bit of black. Um, yeah, surprised it's it's last. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I, I, you know, totting it up. I almost put it first to see if it would come. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I'm disappointed in in some of the rankings here. To be honest with you, well, it's just uh, it's literally just a sponsor, and off the back of what yeah. was a good announcement this week, absolutely. Um, this felt like a bit of a fall from grace. I also did a, a consumer's corner as well, which will be oh, a right. new feature that I'll introduce. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. Whereby, upon looking at what you know, uh, where to get these shirts and how much they are, obviously yeah. where I can, I'll point people towards retro. Um, but twenty-two quid, you can pick these up for now. I mean, that's brilliant. That that, that you yeah. know, that and that deserves to be higher than. You know, that's that's absolute bargain. I mean, if you can do a sponsors version, you know, it, it, it definitely helps. I know there's some teams that that offer that. Well, unfortunately. Dundee United's home shirt from this season, only 15 points. I think, yeah, it, it is a massive shame. I think, you know, Jay, Dom and Sean have let everyone down. <laughs> let everyone down. Let's move on then to number nine. And he only beat it by one point, so maybe I should have put it second because it wasn't, wasn't lost. Uh, and it's this. It's the fourth shirt from Glasgow Rangers for this season. Uh, like I say, 16 points overall. This was my bottom of the pile. I really did try not to let any bias towards clubs creep in, but it may have done a little bit. So I am, and you know, when your jaw's on the floor because the shirts are so poor, that's Castore. You know what I mean? So <laughs> we'll just go with that for a little bit, shall we? Not a not an old massive fan of, of, of Castor. Um, but yeah, black with pinstripes, and only done it several times in the past. I just. Yeah, not not for me. Props for the, the sponsorless one though, without the betting on it. I, I will give him that. But that that's it from me. Um Jay had this see he had this in fourth, you see. Um, you know sw- swap round it I, I I know what it'll say. The the word the word I I can imagine from his his text to me will be clean, classic look. One hundred percent that's what he'd say. Um, so yeah, that that's Jay's ranking in, in fourth place. Let's go through the rankers, and we'll start for you, Sean, uh, on this one because you had it ninth, so you've got it, Bob on. So what was it about this one that wasn't kind of hitting the right note in terms of you liking it? I don't know. If it, it's it's the pinstripes. Is it, is it Castori's first attempt at a kit? This one was it? No, they had the last no. last season together. Didn't they? Last two no, mate, sorry, the, with, with the club, I mean. Because Rangers was the first club, weren't it? Yeah, the oh, first club. Newcastle had, I. Um, I just, it's, it looks like, on that picture as well, it looks like one of those, do you know those Butler in the Buff tuxedos but that are on a T-shirt? Do you know, like a skin tight? Do you okay. know what I mean? It, it reminds yeah. me of one of them. Okay. Um, and I think it would have helped with a sponsor, this kit, with like Carlin on it or McCune's or, or something. 32 Red. Not 32 Red, though. If it was... Classic Rangers sponsor. I'd have elevated a bit. Okay. I don't know. It was like basic basic instinct on my judging there. Okay then. Uh, Kim Basinger. Um, Kim Basinger's basic instinct? Oh, that's Sharon, Sharon Stone. Stone. Sharon Stone. Dom, we'll come to you next on, on this one. Uh, and you had this in the place of eighth. So yeah. I'm guessing, again, was it one that was easy to place lower, lower down the, the list? Easier, um, but my two at tenth and ninth, I should have put before this, yeah. um, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a bit boring. Uh, obviously, uh, Castori aren't known for having the best quality as well, which is always going to be a bit of a gripe when looking at if there was a shirt that you're going to add to your collection, would you really want to? Um, they have them dippy pro versions as well. Um, but yeah, anything decent to say about it is obviously the the colour matching across uh, the embroidered badge, the logo and the, the blue of pinstripe and uh, collar and cuffs but um, uh, I think they all like it because they were they were lapping them up but when they'd gone down to a tenner uh, whereas now 35 quid for a long sleeve is your really? consumer corner bit <laughs> thanks, thank you <laughs> there yeah. it is with my sponsor as well Sean yeah, 32 red 
you know, it is what it is. Another betting sponsor, we don't need it. A bit of variation on it. If it had the blue shorts, maybe it looks a little bit better. I just think it's all black. Ah, it's not for me. It's not for me, uh, as you can tell. Uh, Paul, we'll finish off with you. Um, Ape again, uh, similar to to our man Dom. Do you, are you in agreement with with the guys so far? What they what they said on this one? On that, yeah, absolutely. Um, again, it's hard to not judge it just based on Rangers. Um, <laughs> how, unbelievably, this is the best of the four shots Rangers have this season for me. That's the reason I, I kind of picked it. Yeah. The the home one is terrible. The away one's no bad. The orange one is horrendous. <laughs> and this uh, Rangers fans were actually not that happy when this came out initially. I think they feel the club taking the piss at them a wee bit. Uh, well, the shots they've had four shots the last two seasons, but it's just it's just Rangers. You can hit the nail on the head. Rangers just keep regurgitating the same designs over and over. It doesn't matter if it's Puma or Castor or Hummel. They just keep doing the same designs for the last 15 years. They just keep doing the same thing over and over again. And again, this is just another example of that. I, the only thing I like about it is the, the, it's embroidered badges and logo. It's the only thing I like about it. But no, not a fan. There we go then. Rangers, fourth, um, fourth shirt from this season in ninth place overall for us uh, this week. Okay, moving on to eighth place. And we jump up a little bit in terms of points. It's 20 points overall. For this shirt, and it is the Ross County home shirt by Joma, as you can see. Uh, and um, yeah, it was seven for my list. I quite like the pattern. It reminds me a bit of a, um, is it a real shirt, a little bit. Looks looks quite similar to that, but it's it, it's nice, nice, nice pattern. The, the sponsor works well on it. I, I'm I'm a fan. I probably I could have had it maybe higher, but I think this is the one where I went back and I. I looked at other shirts and went, actually, no, I think I think I like that more. So it just kind of went down a couple of places overall in the end. Jay, who isn't here, he had it in eighth place. Uh, Paul, we'll start with you uh, on this one. It was 10th on your list. It's bottom of the pile. What yeah. was it there? Um, was it more think... Ross than Ross for you? <laughs> My problem with this is I'm a wee bit of a traditionalist when it comes to home shots. And Ross County, they wear dark blue and a bit of red. There's just far, far too much red on this. Yeah. Um, if you if you've never seen a Ross County shirt before, you'd be you'd be forgiven for thinking they, they wear red on their home shirt and they, they just yeah. don't. If they flip the colours around, I don't know how that would have looked, but um, I don't know. I, I don't like the pattern on it. I think it's just quite basic. I think they've tried to do something and it's for me, it's not worked. Um, <sighs> It's, it's, I, mean, I, just don't, I just don't like it. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, just not a fan. It's a colour thing for me. <laughs> fair, fair one, mate. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Maybe if they had reversed it. Dom, that's something for you to do there, I think. Uh, just reverse the colour. That would be nice <laughs> to see. Um, a little bit of homework for you. We'll come to you next on it then. And it was seven for you as well, similar to myself. Do you, do you agree with Paul? Maybe the, the pattern doesn't work and the colours... Having too much red has really let this shirt down from being something that could have been really nice. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, I still don't. I, I'm not sold on the pattern um, and the fact that it looks like it's like broken. There was no propaganda that I could find that was indicating what the uh, yeah. what the pattern was in reference to. It was just a matter of oh, let's put a load more red on it and piss off traditionalists like Paul. Um, but the the break even in the uh, pattern. <laughs> drops the stripe down and the badge goes down with it as well so it's not yeah. level with where i'd expect it to be with the uh, manufacturer logo which is an annoyance um and yeah i can't help but see uh hugo boss in there um in the badge and the fact that that sponsor is fortunate having the triangular logo above it rather than at the other side because yeah. it would just say ass it would say ass yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they're not um, not not a massive fan. Uh, he's got a big um, stag head on the back though, uh, which is nice. Uh, yeah, no one wants ass on the shirt, do they? I guess that's not <clears throat> people people are gonna want to see. But uh, do you know the pattern? Actually, go back to that one. The pattern actually reminds me. But I'm probably gonna age all of us here now. But do you know when you had to tune your telly in and you used to get static. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. You know, uh, sold out though. <laughs> well. 
Shit. Wow. Was you going to get it, Sean? We'll come to you. Was you going to get it? Did you... yeah, I, like, I like this one. It's yeah. chilled, isn't it? You had this like... in. Where did you put this? You had it in third place, didn't you? I like the, I like the, I like the especially on the live picture. The colours are a lot, lot a bit, a bit rugby, that. Well, he, he likes rugby. Yeah. Look, he's well top. He's all right. <laughs> I like the tessellation on it, or the tes tessellation. So, look, I'm a fan of that pattern. I'm going to be this cheerleader. Um, okay. It does look like a third shirt, admittedly, for Ross County, but I'd wear it. It's, it I'd wear it on a night out as well. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 on a night out. There. Oof. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything, anything else you want to say about it? I actually like the sponsor as well. Breaks up yeah. the shirt, breaks up that mad pattern. Yeah, overall, it wasn't too keen with, with our rankings. Only come in eighth place this week with a score of 20 points. It's the Ross County home shirt from this season. Let's get into seventh place then. Uh, and a jump of only one point, only beating it by a point this week. And it's this. It's the St. Johnston away shirt. E. Yeah. Bit rough. Ninth for me. It needs to go in the bin. If anything, <laughs> it needs to go in the bin. There's a group of bins, stick it in. Uh, I'm just not a fan. I love Macron. I think Macron are really turned into a, a great manufacturer of shirts, patterns, fits. Uh, I just, this one just misses the mark for me a little bit. I don't really know what else to say, so I'll move on and shut up. Uh, but Jay did have it in sixth place. Someone else who had it in sixth place was Dom, the Kit King. Uh, yeah. Yes, for you then. You you liking it? Yeah, and I've, I've like admittedly it looks a bit like a fish when you yeah. look straight at it. But then I don't. I, I just found myself drawn to it, and then when I found like I read a little bit more about it and what it was like referencing, and apparently there was a campaign from a podcast to to introduce these colours back in because um, they were used on. One from ninety six to ninety eight, like a teal and magenta half and half shirt that they had, uh, which had the famous grouse sponsor on it, which was admittedly a lot like, nicer than this. But they've not done this colour this vibrantly since, um, and I think it's a good way of reintroducing a colourway that that fans were keen to 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 see again. So yeah, I think I think they've tried, and like you say, uh, Macron are, are doing some interesting stuff as well. But um, yeah, it's it's. It's attractively ugly to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good from far, but far from good. Was... Yes. Uh, 25 quid as well. Nice. Thank you. Only if you're a 5XL, though. That's all they've got left. Growing. Well, a Macron, a Macron 5XL is probably like an XL. Large. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll, be, <laughs> we'll all be all right with that. Uh, <laughs> Sean, let's come to you next on it, pal. Because uh, fourth for you, only one place lower than the last shirt. So, Again, is this one that's more in than bin for you? Definitely. I liked it because it was a little bit different <clears throat> to the rest of them. Yeah. Um, maybe a little shield or a little border around the crest, like the older like the older version would have uh, been a bit better. But I really like it. Colours don't offend me. <laughs> that's always good. I yeah. should hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the colours, oh, of course, didn't I? The colours scream racist. Oh, did they now? <laughs> Night out rating for this, Sean. Would you have one? Oh, yeah. Mm, seven out of ten. Oh. Wear it on the coronation. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? There is, are they the Queen's colours? Or is it not? It's purple and yellow, isn't it? Not purple and green. I, I couldn't care. I don't know. <laughs> let's, we'll move on. Paul, let's finish off with you. Um, it was... Where would you put it? You had this in ninth place as well, similar similar to myself. It could have been a lot better. It does offend me. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> I don't. It's such a. It's such a. I appreciate what you're saying, Don, but the fans wanted this. It just it's so different from anything St. Johnston have done for so long. I just don't. It just doesn't work for me. It's if Aquaman watched Scottish football, he'd be loving it. <laughs> it doesn't work. I don't. I don't like the collar. I don't like the way the design's broken. I think they should have gone for that kind of fishiness almost more if they're going for it. This will probably be one of these strips that St. Johnson fans will absolutely love. 20 years' time, this will be a classic for them. It won't be for me. I'm a bit on the back one. There we go, then. A shirt that's definitely tipping the scales 
in, in, in the opinions of our rankings this week. Don't don't look at me like that. There was always going to be a pun about something about fish. Just leave me be and let me do my thing. Uh, but there we go. St. Johnson's away shirt from this season. Uh, coming in seventh place this week with 21 points. Let's get into number six on our list then. And a jump up to 25 points overall from our five rankers. And it is this. It's no, there's a shirt on, actually. There we go. Let's have a look at that. Come on. It looks like, it looks shot. Fuck it out. The shorts are terrible. Yeah, the shorts shot. are terrible. Really. Right, moving on. It's Hibernian and their home shirt from this season, like I say, 25 points overall. Eighth on my list. I mean, clip art, anyone? I mean, I, I love I love little patterns in shirts, don't get me wrong. And the best stadium one is the Manchester United 94 to 96 home shirt. You'll never beat anything like that. Even the grey shirt that United had a few seasons ago with the Holy Trinity in, I wasn't overly keen on that. This is a, not a great version of, of doing something like that for me personally. Maybe it's a photo. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, but eight on my list. There was two shirts worse, just about, to be fair. Colours are all right. Uh, let's, uh, Paul, we'll start off with you on this one. It was fifth on your list, uh, middle of the road. Um, is it a middle of the road shirt, or is it something that you you appreciate about it? Yeah, I like, I like it. And I, I like the, 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 sh- the pattern of it's the West Stand at Easter Road. I think, it's, I think it looks good. Um, an interesting thing about this shirt as well, it's Apparently it's a hundred percent recycled. Hibs are trying to be the greenest, greenest club in Scotland or something. So I kind of appreciate that as a wee, a wee nod to kind of. Hey, do we do the pit of puns on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think the, the kind of stadium thing kind of works uh, for me. I like it. I, I like Hibs shirts, regardless. The Hibs badge is one of the best badges in football. I think it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that kind of big bull badge and. They've had some absolute belters across the last couple of years, Tibbs, and for me, this is another one. I like it. Dom, let's come to you on, on this one, because you had it in third place on, on your list overall. Yeah. Yeah, again, echoing, echoing what Paul you think they've, they've done it quite well in, in terms of the design with the stadium? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's um, it's not... It, obviously, if, you've, if you're if you a fan and you've you've been to Easter Road, then you you might recognise it. But I think as a it is just a graphic for for someone who's not necessarily that knowledgeable of the club itself. It's a it's a nice he's graphic. Got, he's got, he's got me. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that was a veiled dig I if I've ever seen. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, but yeah, I can I can only echo the sentiments um of Paul yeah. in that yeah, it's a it's a nice shirt regardless. They they often have nice shirts. The badge looks like it could be on a a, a dead nice beer as well. Um yeah. but yeah, I think it looks good in game. It's a crew neck. Um and yeah, I think the sleeves work well across with the break in the collar. Um so yeah. Um and the sponsor are always well, quite sensitive with their colorway, um, and will adapt it to uh, a lot of their shirts as well, which is good. You and Paul are, are kind of this, this, it looks a lot better here. I think, I think, I do think it is a picture. I've seen another picture which I maybe should have used. It's hung up in the stadium, and it look it does look a lot better. Maybe I've been harsh, and it is just that picture, you know. But Dom, you put the Dundee shirt last, which was an absolute crime against football shirts. So, you know, we both make mistakes, it's fine, we can move on from it. Jay had it ninth as well, um, in his list. so he did he know that you could still pick it up for 25 quid? I don't think he did. And I think he would have scored it higher if that was the case. So maybe we should maybe you should share that information before we rank. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> you did it to yourself, you greedy. Sean, uh, coming to you then. Uh, fifth on your list as well. You, you're a fan of, of the green, the badge, and the stadium in the shirt as well. I'm not, I'm not mental over the green. Uh, the badge is nice, but it's the stadium in the background which elevated it for me. Um Massive, massive kudos to Joma. Like it. It's a clean. It's clean. It's symmetrical as well. Collar and cuffs matching. We all like uh, matching collar and cuffs, as we say often yeah. on this show, as you know. Uh, night out rating. Would you give it one? A cuff as high as eight. Hibernian's home shirt from this season, uh, with a total of twenty-five points in sixth place for us this week. So number five on our list, this is it. It's the Aberdeen shirt from this season. It's a nice retro feel to it. It's an, I love the Aberdeen badge as well. It is uh, always classic. And it reminds me of Fergie. And anything that reminds me of Fergie 
gets a ticket in my book, obviously. So, yeah, Aberdeen's shirt from this season, six on my list. Jay had it. This was Jay's number one uh, this week. This is what he's put as his number one shirt. It'd be interesting to know why. But as as I said before, he's away and didn't bother to elaborate on anything. So thank you, Jay. Uh, Dom, let's kick it off with you on, on this one. And you had this one in ninth place on your list. <laughs> Told you, mate. I'm on the beach, mate. I got that many <laughs> flip flops. <laughs> mate, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, what are you doing? That's that's disgraceful. Obviously. I... <laughs> There's loads to like. Why I think I'm not mad keen on V-necks for a start. Okay. I didn't. Uh, I'd not. I knew it was a, a retro nod, uh, but I'd not looked properly. I'd certainly not looked at that badge in a bit more detail as well, which is what I would advise anybody to do. Um, but yeah, I, I I I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. Um, I I think I'm due like a yellow card. Uh, it's placed too low there, and I don't deserve to talk about it in such high praise. So I'll leave it to people who, who ranked it <laughs> properly in the first instance. Yeah, I think we, we will do that. We'll move on quickly then. Sean, 44 uh, quid though. 44 pound, that's, that's a decent a, a decent amount for what is a great shirt, Dom. Not a shirt that deserves to be ninth on anyone's list, I have to say. Sean, uh, we'll swiftly move on to you. Uh, similar to myself, you put it in sixth place. I think Aberdeen shirts are great, better with the pinstripes. Obviously, I've got one behind me that hasn't got the pinstripes. But I think... With this, it's got that nice retro feel. Are you liking it, or was it one that was sort of meh for you? Um, I wish I'd put a place or two above sixth. Um, again, looking at the pinstripes and the badge and the collar, I like the, the classic look. It, yeah, it works. I think it's a good job by Adidas, that. Yeah, well done. Well done, Adidas. A night out rating from you? Give it six or seven. Six or seven. That's nice. Uh, 6.5, then. Yeah. You go with that. Doing decimals. I, I, averaging out, mate. I think that's the best thing to do when you say six or seven. Just cut it down the middle, isn't it? Six yeah. and a half sounds better. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, Paul, that was harder than it needed to be. Imperial. Paul, we'll, we'll finish off with you. Uh, third on your yeah. list. I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd be happy if you had a go at Domi, to be fair. I think he <laughs> needs... It's twice he's done it to us tonight. Foxy. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> um... To, to be honest, this could have been top for me as well. Um, yeah. If it was, if we were doing home shots, this is the best home shot for me in Scottish football. Certainly, in the top flight of Scottish football this season. Yeah. So as with a lot of shots, I don't know if you noticed doing a wee bit of research. This is another nod back to a famous time in Aberdeen's past. It was forty years since they won the European Cup Winners' Cup. So no wonder it kind of reminds you of Fergie and that that team that they had and they beat Real Madrid. So I love stuff like that. I think it's great. Um, when clubs do that and they, they yeah. celebrate these times. A lot, let's be honest, a lot of clubs in Scotland don't have many times like that now out with Rangers and Celtic. So they have to be, they have to do this and cast an eye back. Um, when I think an Aberdeen home shot pinstripes as well, for me is always where, where my mind goes. Yeah. And yeah, I think that the sponsor works. I would have preferred a round neck as well, but obviously a V-neck keeps it more traditional. So big fan of it really like it there we go it's number five on our list with 30 points right let's get into number four we're into the champions league places now and it with 32 points it is a lovely little oh there's a shirt on pitch as well which i think adds so much more this picture again is not great but on on pitch dom look at all the pictures i sent i sent 20 oh, pictures on purpose it's got, it's got the two stars on the sleeve as well for the european it's cup beautiful. wins it's beautiful You've had a mare. You've had an absolute mare. Anyway, we'll move on to the next shirt then. And it is... <clears throat> Sean might be happy or not. It's the Motherwell away shirt. It is nice. And I had it in <coughs> fifth place. The sponsor under the badge is a win for me. I, I love it when teams do that. I've got to give a nod to that. I like I like that, that colour scheme as well. Macron, again, nice little collar on it. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a touch. I, I like it. I do like it. Uh, Jay had this one in, similar to me, fifth place. Sean, we'll start with you. You really like this one. It was uh, second on your list. <clears throat> yeah, I love the sash. I love the collar as well. It's like I used to wear my collar up. Echoing what you say, Aaron. Um, sponsor underneath the badge. Really subtle. I like it. Yeah. Um, 
And the sash just works well there. Straight down. <laughs> Straight down, yeah. Paul, let's come to you on, on, on again <coughs> and we'll find out what you thought about it because you had it in seventh place overall for you. Yeah. What was it? What was kind of not really hitting the mark? This is my, yeah, this is my one that I wish I'd be put a wee bit higher. Um, again, Mother will, Mother will do this a lot. With their away tops, they always go white majority of the time and they'll put the home colours in somewhere. They've had it across the front. They've had it down in our actual diagonal sash for yeah. this one now. And it's just, it's clean. It's nice. I know we're saying that's a word that we use a lot, but <laughs> it's, it is. And it, that we're all liking that sponsor. Yeah, It's no great on the home shot. It's big right across the front. So tuck it away under the badge. You can barely notice it. Um, I can imagine Model fans absolutely love this shot. Yeah, it probably it probably deserve to be higher than, than seventh. Yeah, well, luckily, oh, in the grand scheme of things, it, it did it did end up a little bit higher than that. Finishing off with you and Dom on this shirt, and it was one that you placed fourth place. So you've got it, Bob, on uh, this week. Anything yeah. else you want to add about this this classic looking beautiful away shirt from Model One? Uh, no, other than the collar. When you look at it from the the rear. It probably would have got higher other than that because it looks all right there because it looks yeah. like it joins, but when it's got someone's neck in it, it looks rank. Um, <laughs> but yeah, from the front, however, um, a lot better. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, You're talking about that, yeah. State. Look at the state. Yeah. Of it. <laughs> um, that yeah. is grim. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, at twenty seven fifty, you could buy two of them and complete a collar. So do that. That's what I'd say. Um, yeah, I, but no, um, the uh, I think I looked back through a load of the older kits as well, and it's one it's similar to one from seventy five. And Paul's right; they have um, ordinarily like a band somewhere, whether it be across the chest, down it, or diagonally as well. But um, yeah. I think when the when the sponsors are that sensitive, and we know that it always looks good, um, no matter which sponsor it is or what team it is, when they when they do this, they should be forced to do it. Every every club should be forced to do it because uh, it yeah. always looks good. I've never seen a bad iteration of it, so yeah, loads loads to like about it. Yeah, absolutely. And fourth place on our list, the Motherwell away shirt from this season, 32 points, like we say, overall. Got into third place, and it's a shirt that's lasted two seasons, which is which is always nice to hear. 33 points this week for our next shirt. It's Hearts and their third shirt. Like I say, it's lasted a couple of seasons, which is always, always great. One of the greatest badges in football. Uh, and again, steeped in history uh, for the city of Edinburgh. I, I really like it. It was it was second on my list. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. The pattern within the shirt, the gold with the black and and, and the blue. It's, uh, mate, I, and that's why I picked a heart shirt. I just think the, the colour schemes they have are just fantastic. And if I didn't have an affinity for, for, for Celtic, I, I think this would be the team I, I would look out for in, in Scotland, I think. But no, I, I really do like it. I think it's a great shirt. Uh, well done to... Um, a hat on that one. Jay had this one in third place, uh, not far from myself. Paul, we'll start with you on this one. Um, one place lower than than Jay in in fourth place. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is a it is a great football show, isn't it? and it, it and it's it's yeah. it's good that it, they've had it for two seasons. Yeah, uh, that that's a big thing for me. I really like that. I think clubs need to start doing that more. There's no if there's no reason to change a third. Sometimes a yeah. fourth kit. Then big big fan favorite as well. Mm-hmm. This one was. So it's Tyne Castle again, same as Hibs, ironically, yeah. just in the black stripes, a wee kind of silhouette of Tyne Castle. There's also a, I think there's a wee badge on the back of the collar as well, a wee kind of jam tarts badge or something. Um, yeah. But yeah, again, it harks back to a famous heart shot for, I can't remember when it was, early 90s, I think. 93, the inter one. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, I think it was made by Asics. Um, yeah, yeah, but again, a fan's favourite. They kind of voted it back and stuff. So it's a nice shot. There's a shirt on pitch as well. Um, Shorts and socks work as well, don't they? I mean, that's just yeah, nice. really good. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, what I would love to see. We'll go back to this picture. Strongbow on that would look yeah. in gold. Oh. Look absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Dom, did it come yeah. to you? Yeah, yeah, look, massive fan of it. Stadium within the shirt, but not. As um as 
as noticeable initially. Uh, so a little Easter egg. I like them kind of little details as well. Yeah. Uh, sponsorless, mega. Uh, only would have been made better by a, a sponsor that was uh, in the past associated with the club. But um, huge fan of this. And yeah, like you say, um, the fact that they've had it as a third shirt for two seasons um, and you can still pick it up for 50 quid. Um, then they've they've got the money's worth, it, especially if they got it last season. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, exactly. yeah. yeah. So um, fifth, yeah. fifth on your fifth on your list as well for this heart shirt. Finishing off with you, Sean, because you had it in eighth place. What was it that wasn't kind of pulling at your heartstrings? Mm. I don't know. I didn't see the stadium in the background. Um, I just thought it was a a bit of a template. I saw like Eminem direct in the top <laughs> corner. Um, <laughs> Because <laughs> they do it, they're selling a lot of these Umbro template shirts. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I I couldn't see past that. Um yeah. colours are alright. I like black and blue, that's about it. I think I think they're um like north of the border. Umbro and Hearts are the equivalent of Adidas and Arsenal. They are like the yeah. golden <laughs> child. They always get like the best of what they've yeah, got. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think uh, absolutely. But there we go then. Hearts third shirt from well, not just this season, the season before, as we've discussed, 33 points overall this week. Right, we've got two more shirts left to go, and there's quite a big jump in the scoring from this one, 33 points to the next one, which is 41 points overall. Let's just say these top two shirts are separated by one point. So it's one point in it with, with the winner. And the shirt that's second place. Let's have a look at the shirt on pitch again. Which is this, and it's the St. Mirren away shirt that's come second this week. Uh, it was it was third on my list simply because it is a really nice looking shirt, but the pattern is just Man City from a couple of seasons ago. That, that's what um, I uh, well, I think you'll find the residents well, will be best pleased about you saying <laughs> that, pal. Well, right. No, I, I get that. Don't get me wrong, and I don't want to cause any fights. You don't want the English bastardising something else. No, well, yeah. Well, blame Man City for that, because that's what they've done. (laughs) And I'm all for everyone having a go at Manchester City, as you well know, Don. (laughs) So that doesn't matter. But all I'm saying is, when I put my peepers on it, it, all I thought of was the City shirt. You know, Sean was saying he couldn't get past Eminem Direct. I'm just saying (laughs) I couldn't get past Manchester City, unfortunately. But it's still got a third. And I think it is a beautiful, a beautiful shirt. It's just it stops it getting a little bit higher for me. But it, it's great. Let, let's not kid ourselves. It's just it just reminds me of the city one from a couple of seasons ago. I'll quickly move on before I get myself in any more trouble. Thank you, Dom, for raising that point again. Uh, Sean, let's kick it off with you on, on this one because it was number one. On <coughs> yeah, I think I had it top dinner. Yeah. Why is it the best shirt of the time? Could have been any team, and it would have been it would have been number one. I even like the little red dot on the sponsor. That could have been green, grey, not green, white, grey, black. I think it adds a little bit of a, oh, what's that sort of thing. Um, it's like a like sniper's it, rifle. It's a, oh, it's a logo from a company. That's what it is. It keeps, yeah. you, on, it keeps you on your toes um, <laughs> because it because it matters. Um, <coughs> I like that it looks like the crushed velvet inside a nice jacket you get from these posh shops. Oh, yeah. Which like yeah. When you're, it looks like a normal blue velvet shirt, uh, jacket. Open up the lapel, oh. and there's a that's on the inside. I really like that. Um, Fair. That, that's it. I'm that's, sure someone else will have something better to say. Yeah, probably one of the main reasons why it's not got it's not come top. Everyone else had it in the top five. Jay oh. had it seventh. Jay put this seventh. I'd be interested to know why he did that. I think if he had it any higher, like say one or two places higher. It, it got it goes top unfortunately so that's that has stopped it paul will come to you uh it was second on your list only beaten by one shirt yeah F- yeah for you what was it about the shirt that, that ranked so high and what what is it that you 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 seem to like about it it's just it's, it's stunning isn't it? it's really really nice and you know so you can fuck off <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> um obviously the paisley pattern yeah, Learn from Paisley. They have that. They have this a lot. They've had this in shirts previously. Never to this degree, though, where they've covered a whole shirt in it. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming you haven't found these for sale, Dom, because you cannot sold get them. Out. Sold you out just, everywhere. They've been yes. sold out since about the second week of the season. You cannot yeah. get them. Um, 
I would love to have this shot in my own collection. I, I don't sport St. Mern, but it's just a great shot. The only thing I don't like is the collar. I'm not a mad, massive fan of the mm. collar. I think it could have been neater, but it's just it's just stunning. It's really, really eye catching. And again, as Sean said, this could be on any shot, any team in the world, and it would be cracking. As we found with Man City a couple of seasons. No, I'm not going to do that. No, it's fine. Um, <laughs> it, is a, it is a great shirt. You're absolutely right, Paul. Uh, everything you're saying about it. Throw any badge on there. And it and it's a winner. Dom, finishing off with you then on, on this one. It was top of the pile for, yeah. for you too. I mean, you you are one for collars. Is that something that, that kind of puts you off a little bit? Or is it just too nice that you want to even... No, it, yeah, it didn't put me off enough that I would put it anywhere other than top. Yeah, it it ends up looking like them, I don't know what, with it, 2002, you know, when you were wearing tops that were too big around the neck from like Top Man or All Saints. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> if it was like cold, you'd have to wear another top underneath. It looks like it's just cut off a bit. So that's yeah. it's literally the only thing I don't like about it. I think... Um, there's a there's an older match winner shirt as well that's that's just all black and a dad like a bit of a grayer uh, detail across the shirt. I think it kind of looks similar to that as well. So yeah, um, yeah, lo- loads of time for this, and I agree completely with Sean as well. The sponsor, um, it's not too obtrusive. Um, doesn't take anything away. Blends in really nicely. I think um, yeah. I'd I, I love it for any club, like Sean said. Number two on our list, unfortunately, missing out by one singular point. The St. Mirren uh, away shirt from this season. It, it, it is beautiful. Uh, you know, I apologise for my likening it to City. But anyway, there we go. Let's move on to our number one shirt then. One shirt left. Uh, there's one big team missing that we've not seen. So obviously, they've won. Top of the league as it is at the moment in uh, the Scottish Premiership. Top of our league for full kit rankers. For shirts from the Scottish Premiership for 22 23, winning with 42 points. And it's this absolutely beautiful Celtic away shirt. Top of the pile for me. Yeah, I mean, it's a throwback. You can get a sponsorless version, or you could, I believe, which helps. Obviously, the picture there has that terrible sponsor on, but I, I can forgive that because. It's Celtic, isn't it? And and they are the greatest. And they have, for me, they have the best, some of the best shirts in, in, in up in Scotland. So I think this deserves to be number one. Jay had it second. Dom, we'll kick it off with you. It's second on obviously, you know, say Saint Mirren were your favourite. This one's second. Yeah. yeah, black black and green pinstripes is just it's a wonderful move. Uh, like oh, I get you know throwback from from Celtic. I'm sure you agree. Yeah. Hundred percent Adidas nicking people's own work yet again. Yeah. Um, they've gone right. Umbro ninety two <laughs> looks mega. We'll have that, um, yeah. and they do it all too regularly. But when they do it this good, like it's hard not to like it. The the shield around the badge is just delightful. The fact that you can get it sponsorless, you can still pick it up for like sixty five quid, worth every penny. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, um, yeah, nothing to dislike about it other than the sponsor. Yeah. Absolutely, mate. Um, you know, again, someone someone else could have scored this higher and give it a few more points. Sean, you had it in seventh place. Why is it about this then that you know wasn't really? There was just better ones. Um, I don't dislike it. I like the way they've gone different with the stripes and not gone horizontal, up, down, vertical. Um, yeah, it's just it's nice. Okay. Obviously, there's six better. Yeah, that's fair. Night out rating for this one? Nine out of ten. I'd give that. Sponsorless version? Oh yeah, always sponsorless. All right, okay. I Not thought you would have two, night I night thought you would have had two different scores. That's why I said sponsorless version. Oh right. Um I wouldn't wear it with a sponsor. All right, no, that's fair. Well done. Yeah. Good yeah. call. Good, good thing to say. Uh Paul, let's finish off with you. Like myself, it was top of the pile. Yeah. For us, I think it was always going to be. Tell everyone why this is the greatest shirt. From this season of the ten you've picked from the Scottish Premiership, mate. So I've been kind of banging on about this shirt a lot. It seems like a bit of a thing with me banging on about certain shirts, but I rarely buy shirts when they first come out, and I bought this almost instantly. I just kind of had to have it. Um, yeah. I think this is one of the only shirts that the betting sponsor actually looks quite good. I think it works. I think the fact it's just that white. Obviously, he did the Celtic shot last week and it didn't score very high. Um, yeah, they've moved that 
the wee logo down next to the text and it works here. Yeah. Um, that wee throwback to the, the 92 Umbro kit. It's exactly as you said, the wee shield around the badge, it's just, it's brilliant. Looks amazing where the name set on it as well. You've got an option of pre- Scottish Premier League, Champions League patches for the sleeves. It's just, it, for me, it's a clear number one. I love it. Rightly so, it has come top of the pile. Uh, so these two of us are, are walking away happy this week. So there we go, Celtics, away shirt from this season, coming top of the pile, 42 points overall. I will do my due diligence and showing that I don't cheat. I might look at other shirts and change my mind a little bit, but I'm not cheating, honestly. There's uh, how it all worked out this week. And there we go then. That is our, our show for this week. Congratulations to the winner and all the other nine shirts that took part in the game of Full Kit Rankers. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining us and being involved in the show. It's always a pleasure to have you here watching us and ranking alongside us. We will be back again next week for another Full Kit Rankers. Big thank you to Paul for helping, you know, or picking the shirts. I think he picked a great 10. He's done a better job than me. Like I said, it was not one person moaning. So maybe I, t- I need to take a leaf out of your book, mate. Maybe I'll, I'll run my shirts past you every week and you can tell me if they're a good 10. <laughs> Let everyone know, you know, what's going on with yourself and where people can find you on the old socials, please, mate. Yeah, just mainly mainly Twitter and TikTok. I do have Instagram. I don't use it that much, though. Um, but, yeah, just at Fitball Shots on, on TikTok and Twitter. Always happy for anyone to follow and get involved and stop to speak about shots as much as possible. <laughs> Absolutely. Just mate. followed you. Just followed you. Good man. Good man. <laughs> on, on, on TikTok. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it can it can start sending you weird videos instead of me on there. That'd be great. To be fair, you've, you've got about twenty Scotland videos to get through there. All that shot. <laughs> all I'll be talking about. I spend a lot of time on TikTok. Don't worry, I'll get through these. <laughs> yeah, he, he will as well. Uh, but no, I, I echo it, it. It's a great follow. Um, following Paul, so yeah, get involved and 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 start following. If you're not already, you should be already anyway, because he's a a staple of the community for sure. Dom, yourself, thanks as always for stopping by, mate. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, anything you want to mention or or anything? What's going uh, on? Football shirt Friday coming up this Friday, twenty oh, first yeah. of April. Um, yep. so follow also football shirts FC or FS. FC UK uh, yeah. on Twitter, uh, Football Shirts for Charity. If you can there, um, looking to raise awareness for uh, cancer research. Um, and I know it's something the Bobby Moore Foundation as well will uh, look yeah. to champion. So I'll be taking a load of shirts into one of our offices for people to put on and, and donate as well. But we'll be expecting to see loads of people on, on Twitter and Insta as well. Absolutely. Make sure everyone's getting involved. It's, you know, we love football shirts, so it's it's right we have a day for it and, and for good causes as well. So, yeah, make sure you're getting involved for that. Sean, GK Sean, what's going on? What what is anything going on? You sent me some stuff from Charity Shop uh, Hunting. I've not put out. I apologise, but I will do it. I will. You don't have to put it out. It's there for yeah. the archives. Just for me, just for my own. Play, play, it, at, play it at my funeral. Play it at my funeral. I'd rather not. If that's right. okay, I'll let I'm you. Gonna... It's, it's yeah, that's going in my right. will. I'll right, play okay. that with you know, if I die before what, you. What? Oh right. yeah. Well, I'll it's not forward... live. We can edit this. Yeah, I know. Well, I, this this is definitely staying in. I look forward to you dying then. I guess that's it then. That's the end of the show. Like I say, thank you for stopping by. It's been a great episode as always. If it is your first time talking kit, be sure to smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell as well for every time that we drop content. It's been a pleasure having you here. We'll be back next week for another 10 shirts from the Rank Bank. We'll see you on the next one. But as always, whatever you do in life, in love, in heartbreak, just make sure that you keep talking kit. Thank you.